Coming up after This Is Now, we'll have Investigates TV. Here's a preview of today's story. It's not an easy conversation asking for a raise, which is why we got some advice from Andres Lares, managing partner with the Shapiro Negotiations Institute. He tells me it never hurts to ask, but do it nicely and with empathy. And he says, know the market you are in before you go into your boss's office. Because that will change the way you approach it, right? What you might have done two years ago very aggressively, kind of looking for jobs, leverage, and then asking for a big, big raise. You probably want to take a, a softer approach, but at the same time, you can't ever always wait for the kind of the perfect moment because that, that moment may never come. Remember, there is more pressure right now on companies to cut costs, so be aware. He says, come prepared, even practice your ask with a friend and be confident, especially about your value to the company. You got to know your value and, and what you bring to the table. I think that's where the comparables come in. And I think that's where thinking about the past comes in, specific examples of what you've done. And then most importantly, kind of specific examples as much as you can of what you're going to be able to do, right? The value that you bring to the table, that you've been able to increase efficiency or, you know, all the potential, the revenue you've brought in if you're a salesperson. And it's not always about pay. Be open to other options, a new title, expenses for commuting or more paid time off. One last idea, look up what a person in your job makes in different regions of the country so you have some comparison when you talk to your boss. With this Watch in Your Wallet, I'm Rachel.